So we're overlooking beautiful Zurich, and just a few minutes ago, I got to meet the mayor of Zurich, who is newly elected, been in office one month, she's uh, female and openly lesbian. And the first openly lesbian mayor of a major European city. And she was very friendly, and I asked her if she was going to be in the parade for Euro Pride, and she said, of course. And I said, do you have an outfit? And she said, well, I'm not going to be naked. And I thought that was very cheeky and funny of her. So I love her. She charmed my pants off. But not, not literally, because as we've established, that's, I'm not her cup of tea. Okay, Euro Pride is going to officially start tonight, and tomorrow's the big parade. But um, we're just sort of surveying the grounds. And I'm happy to report that it looks like there's going to be Asian food. Because nothing says pride to me like teriyaki chicken on a stick. So that is a um, part of uh, Europride, and I was told it was a, like a bar like that you drink and stuff in there, but I was hoping it's like a bounce house, because I think a lot of these gay pride events could really benefit from a, a bounce house, a crawl ball, some ski ball, and go-go boys, of course. I'm here with Michael. He is the press secretary or the press rep for uh, Euro Pride. You're like the CJ Craig from the West Wing of this event. Oh my God, uh, that's the best thing I've ever heard. Because I know I he's her. obsessed with the West Wing, and that's yeah. why we're doing a walking and talking interview. Because that's what they do on that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ho hopefully the camera guy is not going to be in it. Right. It's a bit now you also told us a few of the things to watch for in the parade. There is uh, military people. Yeah, we have an association of gay military officers, and they are really cool. Right. They, they actually managed to get the commander to sign a order on diversity management. So we're the first army in the world who officially has a diversity management for gay and lesbian. That is so different than the United States. Oh, don't ask, don't tell. Right. And there's also, I hear, a bit of um, intrigue with the uh, Mr. Switzerland. Yeah, it was kind of funny. We have a new Mr. Switzerland that's like a, like Miss Switzerland, you know, beauty contest. But not gay? No, no, no. no. Okay. I mean, I think they're allowed to be gay, but they yeah. usually aren't. Okay. And um, the new guy was asked whether he's going to come to Europe, right? He said, yeah, if he gets invited. So we invited him. And right. And the management said, oh, he can't come because then people might think he's gay and that's bad for his reputation. And he's a handsome man and people, that's... that's he's, actually, he's actually really dumb. He's just said that um, he's only read one book and okay. I checked it and it was uh, uh, with a lot of pictures. Really? Yeah. Now, there's also a Mr. Gay Switzerland, which is not the same as Mr. Switzerland. Yeah. And I hear that he is hearing impaired. Yes. And I also hear that he's packing. Can you confirm or deny? <laughs> uh, my roommate said so because he, <laughs> he saw him at the gym. Okay. That's good to know. He will actually be at the parade. Okay. We're see what, what's the one thing that you think is going to be a highlight of the parade? Oh my god, I, I don't really know. We've had so many of them. It's very confusing. I think that the whole parade itself is a highlight. And yeah. I hope that a lot of straight people are going to join in right? and watch the parade and cheer because that's what we need. Awesome. We did very well with our walk and talk. I think we handled the West yeah, Wing yeah, yeah. walking and, and talking still very alive. well. He's still alive. We're still alive. Thanks okay. so much. Hey there, I am in Zurich, Switzerland. It's the first night of Euro Pride. We're here by the, the uh, Limit River. We've got the Grossminster Church behind us. And then over there is the, the Pride Village, which I'll show you some pictures of. Sights and sounds of pride. You've got your free condoms, you've got your food bars, you've got your beautiful people, you've got your people that are just literally dripping with Euro pride. At Euro pride, you never know uh, who you're going to happen upon, and here's Johnny Hazard. You're here, and you're going to be, some of you perhaps have seen a few of his films. Um, you're going to be in the parade tomorrow? Yep. Okay, what does that entail for you? Uh, getting up on a truck, right? A lot Topless. of a lot of okay, and a lot of mental Dancing preparations. Around. All right, no, that's nothing. gonna be good. There's no mental preparation, really. <laughs> no. um, At this point, it's, 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 it's fucking routine. <laughs> now, you said earlier that you ha you were having the best night of your life. Yeah, that was great. It was what was great, great about it? Uh, you know what? For the first time in a long time, I got to just hang out with myself, and uh, for lack of a better term, nobody bothered me. Nobody got in your face. What do you think of the Swiss guys? Uh, you know what? The Swiss girls are a lot better looking. 
Really? Yeah, Interesting. I gotta say. Wow. Guys, sorry. I, people are clicking away sorry. from the website in droves now. <laughs> I hope you're happy. Now, I like that. Did you, you used to have the, re, the whole thing spelled out? Yes. Do people actually, just literally actually. rip li letters off? No, 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 no. Not, not, not quite like that. Yeah. Um, oh, a fan made this for me. It said Johnny Hazard. Nice. And, um, I wore it out one night. I'm like, this is really obnoxious. So you wanted to kind of keep the thing, so you did it kinda, yourself? Kind of, yeah, I ripped all the letters out. Yeah. I wanted to keep it, like, kind of obscure. Yeah. And it's like Wheel of Fortune, like, you kind of went, <laughs> I think I know, but I'm not sure, and then maybe you can buy a vowel or whatever. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll have fun tomorrow, and thanks for chatting. And yes, um, do you have a website? Do we yes, uh, Johnny at HazardCentral.com. Hazard Central? It's like, there's a, it's like a clearinghouse for hazards. <laughs> Is there more than one? Well, somebody bought uh, johnnyhazard.com years ago. Ugh. That's unnerving, right? Do you know who it is? Yeah. Are you mad at them? That's infuriating. No, no, he's smart. He's smart? He was smart. What is he? What, do you ever go, what do I have to do to get it from you? And he's. Well, I know what I have price. to do. Yeah, I know, and, I know what it's going to cost. And I just, I'm not ready to. Not that, not that. Yet. No. no. Have fun with the rest of your pride. It was Thank a delight talking to you. And um, rock that parade out. All right, we'll do. All right. And I decide.